What is your main takeaway from the panel debate? Well, I think um, what we heard was um, people keen to make sure that we are taking our share in building resilience among kids rather than perhaps focus too narrowly on the risks that are on the online environment. And that's quite an interesting concept because what we're doing is saying that kids need to develop a robust way of navigating the internet rather than sort of shutting themselves off from it or having their parents shut them off from it. And that, I think, is a concept that more and more parents need to come to terms with. So that, I think, is the major sort of uh, news item coming out of this presentation. Uh, it was also mentioned that there's quite a geographical split between issues. We have the Nordic countries, which are quite resilient and mature markets, but we will see more problems in Asia. Would you agree with that statement and what can be done to, 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 to basically work with that? Yeah, I think I would agree with it, yes. Um, Having said that, I think the Nordic countries as well, I mean, given the high usage currently, they, those kids will also be faced with quite high risks. So I think it's a, um, two things that go very well together. The problem in Asia would be that you get a very fast, swift development and they might not be ready with their resilience building initiatives at this time. So it's important that you know the different players in this environment see what their responsibility is and start engaging with teachers, schools and with the industry and the various players that need to make this ICT value chain safer for children. Is there anything that can be done also on an industry level? We are obviously talking that many stakeholders have to be involved. We're talking about parents, we're talking about governments, regulators in general. But are there other, other industry peers that should be working together with Telenor on this? I think we're seeing some interesting uh, developments in Europe at the moment. There are actually two important alliances. There is a CEO coalition, so-called, um, initiated by the European Commission. And then there's a strictly industry uh, coalition that tries to be a bit more sort of future-facing, trying to look at what kind of problems will we meet in the future. Now, the CLO, CEO coalition, to go back to that, which was an initiative of um, Commissioner Neely Cruz, um, is about responding to some concrete threats and to deliver on them in during 2013, the year that we're now just embarked on. So that's um, a coalition that spans very different players in the ICT environment. You have the mobile operators, the access providers, but you've also got Google and Facebook and those other large players that really have a responsibility here. So I think you're seeing that industry players are certainly coming together in a way that they didn't a few years back. And it's going to be very interesting to see what comes out of that coalition work. We have Knut Hornes today from Boston Consulting Group with us, who launched today together with Telenor um, a survey on online safety for, for youth. I would like to know what were the main findings of the survey? Yes, we've had the privilege, I would say, of looking into a, a very big, very important issue. And that issue is uh, what is uh, uh, the importance of the internet for our children, for the youth? And what did we find? Well, we find, of course, that it's important. It will be important for their lives. But we also find that there are risks. And we know that there are lots of risks related to the Internet. And, uh, of course, they relate to children as well. But our main finding is that uh, there are ways to build uh, protection against the risks. Partly we do that through the legal structure, regulations, etc. But much more importantly, it is about building resilience building the ability to handle risks. So what we have done is really to understand how big is this issue and what are the ways of dealing with risks. And uh, it's big. One billion youths will enter into an online world within the next five years. And uh, for them, of course, handling these risks is incredibly important. This can be handled uh, and has to be handled by themselves. We have to build the filters in our minds. But it also has to be handled by schools, by families, but also by companies such as telcos, like Tel Telenor, and of course governments. So in a sense what we're finding is that internet as we know is important, will be important for our kids' lives. They will have to learn how to handle the risks, and they will. And there's a huge difference between a risk and harm. That difference is what we call resilience. And that difference is what we want to build uh, knowledge about. So we want to build more resilience. And we want to do that through educating about the best, the good practices, about how to act uh, and how to help our children act 
on the internet uh, as an important part of their lives.